WWE fans were denied a dream match between CM Punk and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 40. Recently, wrestling journalist Dave Meltzer revealed shocking initial plans that were considered within the company for this highly anticipated bout. When the Second City Saint returned the promotion at Survivor Series 2023, the visionary didn't hesitate to express his disappointment. Fans immediately anticipated a one-on-one -on -one showdown between the two former world champions, and WWE was ready to capitalize on the excitement. However, CM Punk's injury during the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble match sidelined him for several months, causing the much-awaited match to be canceled that on the recent edition of Wrestling Observer Radio, WOR. Dave Meltzer suggested WWE could have booked a compelling match between Seth Rollins and Punk without resorting to traditional babyface heel dynamics. The journalist also revealed that the original plan for their WrestleMania XL match was for both the best in the world and the revolutionary to remain babyfaces, highlighting the strong storytelling potential of their rivalry. CM Punk and Seth Rollins came face to face after WWE Bad Blood did AT, the Bad Blood PLE. The voice of the voiceless clashed with Drew McIntyre inside the hell in a cell structure. After a brutal and gruesome match, Punk emerged victorious over the Scottish psychopath. After being on the shelf for nearly two months, Seth Rollins returned to WWE TV on the Go Home episode of Monday Night Raw before Bad Blood. The former Universal Champion Koss Bronson read the last monster standing match against Braun Strowman that on the October 7, 2024 edition of The Red Brand. Following the premium live event in Atlanta, CM Punk addressed the crowd and stated he would be stepping away from in-ring action for an indefinite period. As he was about to exit the ramp, the visionary made his way and came face to face with the best in the world.